Hi there, I am Sai, and today I'm going to be reviewing this Playa Dito Yerba Mate, and I'm going to compare it to this Guayaki Yerba Mate. And I've just now opened the bag of Playa Dito Yerba Mate. I am now going to open the bag of the Guayaki Yerba Mate. And the first thing I want to do is say that this Guayaki Yerba Mate is organic, and I normally try to get organic. And this is one of my top Yerba Mate, is one of the ones that I really like a lot. And this Playa Dito Yerba Mate is not organic. I don't know a whole lot about it. I just know it's from Argentina, and we're going to see how it tastes once it's brewed. We're going to do a smell test here in just a second to see how they compare. And we'll keep our Playa Dito on this side and the guayaki on this side so we don't get them confused. I have just boiled some water here and I've got two of these mason jars with some cold water in them. And the reason I have the cold water is I like to brew the yerba mate where I put the cold water in with the leaf first to moisten it a little bit before I add the hot water. And I think that's a really good way to brew it. I'll let you get a close-up look of the playa dito. It actually tells how much caffeine is in this one. And get a close-up look of the guayaki. So let's go ahead and smell the Playa Dito first. It doesn't smell too strong, I must say. The guayaki does smell really good. I'd say just on a smell test, I'd make the winner the guayaki, because this smells really good. I'll go ahead and set this aside while we measure out our yerba mate into both of these mason jars. And we'll first do three tablespoons of the Playa Dito Yerba Mate. And they both have some leaf and stem, so they're a very similar cut of Yerba Mate. I'll go ahead and wipe our spoon down a little bit to avoid cross-contamination. And we'll do our Guayaki Yerba Mate. I'll go ahead and swish these around like this to kind of moisten up the leaf. And now we'll go ahead and add our boiling or freshly boiled water. And I'll go ahead and cover them both now. And it's interesting to see just so far that the Playa Dito maybe looks a little darker just from the start. It'll be interesting to see how they taste. And we're gonna filter out the leaf and stem with these filters here in a minute. We'll actually wait about maybe seven to 10 minutes before we filter it out and do a taste test. That way we'll have our water nice and infused with the yerba mate. I'll give you a close up look here of the two teas as they're brewing. And let's go ahead and take a look at the Playa Dito. I think you're gonna find it looks very similar to the Guayaki, but maybe it's a little bit darker. Here is the Guayaki. So let's go ahead and wait about seven to 10 minutes and I'm gonna come back and we'll do the taste test. All right, they've been brewing for close to 10 minutes or more. It's gonna take a smell of first the Playa Dito. Smells like Yerba Mate, but kind of not very strong. Hmm. Even after it's been brewed, I like the smell of the Guayaki better, but let's do a taste test and see. Let's go ahead, pour a little bit of our Playa Dito Yerba Mate here. And a little bit of our guayaki yerba mate. For clarity, I was able to do a little research on the Playa Dito, and it seems like it is probably an unsmoked yerba mate, just like the guayaki yerba mate. So they have that in common. Just one of them has the organic certification, and the Playa Dito does not. Let's go ahead and do this taste test. I will say that the Playa Dito is clearly darker. This one right here is the Playa Dito Yerba Mate, and this is the Guayaki Yerba Mate. And you can see that the Playa Dito is slightly darker. So I'm going to taste it first. I've never tasted it before, so... I'd say it has a unique taste. Yeah, it's not bad. It is pretty smooth. It doesn't have a very distinct taste where I'm thinking, oh wow, this is amazing, but it's good though. I like the taste of it. That being said, I will say that looking at reviews and seeing the ratings that other people gave about these two teas, the Playa Dito is sitting pretty high as far as what people think about it. Seems like people really do like it a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and compare that Playa Dito now to the Guayaki. Hmm. Wow, I think I might like the guayaki slightly better, but it's close. Let me try this again. 
You know, I would say this Playa Dito does have a unique taste and I do like it. I can't say with 100% certainty that I like it better or worse. Like I said, the smell of the guayaki I definitely prefer, meaning it smells really good. This one doesn't have a strong scent to it, but based upon how I'm experiencing the taste right now, it's very difficult to tell which one I like better, although there is a distinct difference. Very difficult to tell. Let's kind of wrap things up here. The Playa Dito versus the Guayaki. I will say that I really like this Playa Dito based upon my experience of tasting it here. It does taste good. I probably slightly prefer the Guayaki or Bramante. They are both unsmoked. I know this one's unsmoked, but the Playa Dito does seem to be unsmoked based upon the information I could find about it. If you see something different, please let me know. And as I said, based upon people reviewing this Playa Dito, it does seem people really like it a lot. They say that it's smooth and that they enjoy drinking it seems to be a great product. The only thing I would say is that because it's not certified organic, I don't really know what the practices are and that would probably steer me more towards something like a guayaki or bamate. But as far as taste goes, I do like it. I just wanted to say really quick that I did have my daughter and my son both try the Playa Dito and the guayaki and one chose the Playa Dito as better and one chose the guayaki as better. And it probably is just going to be depending on what type of of taste is better for you. It's the next day and I wanted to add a couple of things in about the two teas. Again, I have the Playa Dito and the Guayaki and what I noticed drinking the Playa Dito yesterday is that it is a more kind of a uh, round feeling. I don't know what you would describe it as but it's not really tangy but it does have a good kind of maybe a bold taste and the Guayaki has a little bit of like a tangy or a tart aftertaste. Very subtle for both of those things, but I did really enjoy drinking the Playa Dito. But one thing I just noticed making the tea again today that I wanted to share with you is I decided I was going to smell them when I had already added the cold water. And I have to say that yes, the Guayaki does smell very good, but this one, the Playa Dito, also smells very good once you've added the cold water. In fact, I'd say that it does have a very unique scent to it. I really do like it. Just wanted to add that in. So that's my review of the Playa Dito Yerba Mate versus the Guayaki Yerba Mate. I hope you liked my review. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and share this video, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.